Okay, let's convert 27.23. We're talking about grams of water, H2O. We want to get that to moles. And this 27.23, that's just a number I made up for the problem. We're going to use this diagram here to help us convert from grams of water to moles. So we have grams. We're starting with grams and we want to get to these moles here. So we want to get to moles. That means we'll divide by the molar mass and that'll get us from grams to moles. So we have 27.23 grams of water. And the molar mass for water is 18.02. And the units are grams per mole. If you need help calculating that, there's a link in the description how to get the molar mass for water. So we're just going to divide 27.23 by the molar mass of water. So we have grams up top, bottom, we can cancel those out. And we have one over moles. That's just moles. And 27.23 divided by 18.02, that gives us 1.508 moles. And that's moles of water. So again, we took grams, we divided by the molar mass, that got us moles. There is one other way we could do this, it gets us the same answer, but your teacher might like you to use conversion factors. Let's do that. So we start out with our grams of water. We're going to multiply by a conversion factor. So we know we have grams here. We have to have grams on the bottom, so they'll cancel out. That means moles are on top. And we know that one mole of water is 18.02 grams. So we have grams on the top and bottom. That cancels out. We'll be left with moles. And again, 27.23 divided by 18.02 gives us the same answer we got earlier, and that is moles of H2O. So the mole map here, this is really a useful tool to help you remember how to convert from grams to moles or moles to grams or moles to liters for gases or moles to particles. You need to do that. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.